The truth isn't always one-sided, right? There's always two stories and two sides, and then somewhere in the middle is usually the truth. And of course, we spent the last couple of days all talking about and seeing those articles floating around that Disney demanded everything. If there was articles out there that were like, yeah, Disney demanded 90% of everything. But now Deadline is coming out, and again, this is Deadline, this is the source you believe. Because they broke the original story. And they're telling us the details and exactly how this went and what fell apart. So let's talk about this. And as always, if you guys like these videos, thank you for watching first and foremost. And if you guys want more content, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I think I'm getting good at showing that. So how did things get to where they are? How did it get so bad that Deadline had to get this info and then put it out there and then Sony had to come out with a three paragraph statement if you will well here's how it happened towards the end of last year they were discussing the future now as we've talked about this Disney was getting five percent so 50 to 55 million off the films and that was about it Disney proposed something else entirely what they proposed was every film that Kevin Feige is involved and if Sony wanted to that could be Venom that could be Morbius they'll bring them into the MC you. But Disney wanted to finance 25% of the film and get 25% of the total box office. And this went nowhere. It was just sitting there. As a matter of fact, it sat there for six months. There was no reply from Sony. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, apparently, this is where things got interesting. After about six months, which places it just about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, so Sony was like, we're not responding, and Disney was like, okay, 50%. We raised the co-financing to 50%. Will you take that now? Sony never replied. And then the news got out there of the whole fallout that we just recently saw. So how did it get this bad? Well, um, Tom Rothman, I think, is one primary thing, but it, it's exactly as I said in that one video like 10, 11 months ago. After Venom, they got confident, and it was all there. You could see this coming and they stopped talking to Disney because they realized what they had. What they had was a successful franchise that didn't involve Kevin Feige or anybody. And of course, time and time again, Sony has done this. This is their pattern with the film division, and it is unfortunate. But the fact that they didn't reply to the first offer, which honestly is awesome, if Disney was to co-finance and put all of these films in the MCU, like Venom, like Morbius, for 25%, and then get 25% back. Two movies from now, Sony would be banking like three, four hundred million while Disney is banking, what, a hundred? That's not a bad deal. But they never replied, so Disney was like, fine, 50%, take it or leave it, and they still never got a reply. So it's unfortunate this is how it's going, but the more we learn, the more we now know of how both sides are just being greedy. And I'm not taking sides here, I don't care. I think they're both kind of scummy. Obviously, if you look behind me, I love Sony. I mean, come on, dude, come on. I've grown up on Sony products. But I also love Disney. They were a huge part of, you know, me growing up and all their content, and especially Marvel, like in the last decade. So yeah, but this is just kind of petty. That, that's honestly where I'm coming at it from. The fact that both sides are so petty, they can't figure this out, and they're both just want to go, eh, whatever, and walk away. That's terrible. 